And I think the reason we, we have not yet seen how damaging uh, actually the lockdown was for our economies. Uh, we, are, we are facing a lot of unemployment in Austria uh, or short term, uh, it's called short labor. I think this is, a, this is a now common in, in almost uh, all of Europe. Um, but we will only in the autumn, we will see how much real damage was done in terms of how many people are going back to work Mm. And uh, and I think we will see that uh, there is a huge effect uh, there, which is basically, I would say, um, an acceleration of a change in production that would have happened maybe over a longer term in the next 10 years or so. Uh, it's what we see, the fact that we are sitting here uh, almost every afternoon talking over the internet, etc., all these things, the home office situation, all these things have, have changed dramatically over the last three months, and they would have probably taken three, three, four, five years uh, to take the same effect. And I believe this is the same for, uh, for the employment situation. And then there is a second uh, factor, and that's youth unemployment. It's now the second, the next generation, the first there was a generation that uh, entered the labor market in 2008, and now we have a generation entering the labor market in 2020, where it's very, very more, much more difficult to, mm -hmm. to enter and to have a good perspective than it was just a year ago. And, uh, and I think it's very important that the European Union comes up with an answer to this as well, because this is a very pro-European uh, generation. Um, they, they feel that Europe is actually their hope. And I think Europe will have to give answers um, uh, to this.